Araw mga kasipnayan, ngayon ay ating pag-aralan ang isa sa mga learning competencies na nakapaloob sa Mathematics 5 Most Essential Learning Competency o yung iraw nilang MELK. Handa na ba kayong matuto? Ilabas na ninyo ang inyong notebook at open. Tara, umpisahan na natin! Today's video is all about divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. This is based on Math 5 Most Essential Learning Competency or MELT. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first a review. You are going to put a check if the number is divisible by 2, 5, or 10. I am going to give you only 35 seconds to finish the activity. Are you ready? Let's start. Timer starts now. You only have 10 seconds. Time's up. Let's now check your work. For 50, it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. For 408, it is only divisible by 2. For 605, it is only divisible by 5. And for 2040, it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Did you get a perfect score? Very good! This time, we are going to discuss about Divisibility Rule 4.3. Divisibility Rule 4.3 states that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Let's take a look on this first example. Is 96 divisible by 3? Is it a yes or a no? To solve this, we are going to add the digits of 96. And that is 9 plus 6. What is 9 plus 6? Very good! It's 15. Then, we divide 15 by 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. We can now say that 15 is divisible by 3. Now, is 9 to 6 divisible by 3? Very good! 9 to 6 is divisible by 3. Let's now proceed to our second example. Is 234 divisible by 3? Again, we are going to add the digits of 234. That is 2 plus 3 plus 4. What is the sum? Very good! It's 9. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, we can say 9 is divisible by 3. Is 234 divisible by 3? Very good! Yes, 234 is divisible by 3. How about this third example? Is 205 divisible by 3? We are going to add the digits of 205. 2 plus 0 plus 5. What is the sum? 
I heard it right. It's 7. Now we divide 7 by 3. 7 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Remainder 1. 7 is not divisible by 3. Going back to the question, is 205 divisible by 3? Very good. No, 205 is not divisible by 3. Let's now proceed with the divisibility rule for 6. The rule states that a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. It must be divisible by both 2 and 3. Let's take a look with this example. Is 42 divisible by 6? First, let's try 42 is divisible by 2. Is it yes or no? Yes! 42 is divisible by 2 since the last digit is 2 or 42 is an even number. How about the second one? Is 42 divisible by 3? Let's add the digits of 42. And that is 4 plus 2 equals 6. Is 6 divisible by 3? Yes! 6 is divisible by 3. Now, is 42 divisible by 6? Yes! 42 is divisible by 6. Let's now proceed with our second example. Is 908 divisible by 6? First, we are going to check if 908 is divisible by 2. Yes, 908 is divisible by 2 because the last digit is 8 and 908 is an even number. How about 908? Is it divisible by 3? Let's see. We are going to add the digits of 908. That is 9 plus 0 plus 8. What is the sum? Very good. It's 17. Now we divide 17 by 3. Will 17 divided by 3 gives us a 0 remainder? Very good. No, because 17 divided by 3 is 5 remainder 2. 17 is not divisible by 3. Since 908 is divisible by 2, but it is not divisible by 3, therefore, 908 is not divisible by 6. Let's now proceed with our third example. Is 123 divisible by 6? 123 must be divisible by both 2 and 3. Let's check. Is 123 divisible by 2? Very good. No, because the last digit is 3. And 123 is not an even number. So from this, we can now say that 123 is not divisible by 6. Did you understand the divisibility rule for 6? Very good. Let's now proceed with the last divisibility rule. That is the divisibility rule for 9. The rule states that a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Let's now have the first example. Is 72 divisible by 9? We are going to get the sum of the digits of 72. And that is 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 9 is divisible by 9. Is 72 divisible by 9? Yes, 72 is divisible by 9. How about this second example? Is 729 divisible by 9? 
again, we are going to add the digits of 729. That is 7 plus 2 plus 9. What is the sum? I heard it right. It's 18. Now we divide it by 9. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. 18 is divisible by 9. So, is 729 divisible by 9? Yes, 729 is divisible by 9. Let's now have the last example. Is 627 divisible by 9? Let's add the digits of 627. It's 6 plus 2 plus 7. What is the sum? Very good, it's 15. 15 divided by 9 is equal to 1. Remainder 6. Therefore, 15 is not divisible by 9. Is 627 divisible by 9? Very good. No, 627 is not divisible by 9. Did you understand the divisibility rule for 9? Very good. We are now going to summarize what we have learned today. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and the number must be divisible by 3. Take note. It must be divisible by both 2 and 3. And a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. So those are the divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. After knowing the divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9, we are going to apply what we have learned. Let's try this. Is 306 divisible by 3? Very good. Yes, 306 is divisible by 3 because the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. How about is 78 divisible by 6? Yes, 78 is divisible by 6 because 78 is both divisible by 2 and 3. And for the last, is 111 divisible by 9? Very good. No, 111 is not divisible by 9 because the sum of its digits is not divisible by 9. Dito nagtatapos ang ating talakayan mga kasipnayan. Hanggang sa susunod na video presentation natin. Huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe at mag-like sa Sir Mel Sipnayan YouTube channel. Hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita, magandang araw!